Welcome to our deep dive into the world of MacBook memory. Today, we are going to shine a light on the often misunderstood and overlooked component of your MacBook memory. We'll explore the magic behind the 8GB memory in a MacBook, how Apple uses memory, and whether more memory is always better. We'll also look at what you should consider upgrading instead of memory, and answer some of your burning questions. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, relax, and join us as we unravel the mystery of MacBook's memory magic. Let's get started with our first question. Is 8GB of memory enough for a MacBook? Ever wondered if 8GB of memory in a MacBook is enough? Today we dig deep into the subject. To kick things off, let's start with the basics. What exactly is memory in a computer? Well, it's not about how much data your device can store, that's your hard drive or SSD. Instead, memory, also known as RAM, random access memory, is a form of computer data storage that allows your device to access data quickly. This is crucial for running your operating system, applications, and programs. Think of memory as a workspace. Just like a desk in an office, the larger your workspace, the more tasks you can handle at once without needing to tidy up or put things away. A computer with more memory can handle more applications at the same time without slowing down. So, is 8 gigabytes of memory enough? The answer to that largely depends on what you're using your MacBook for. For lighter tasks like browsing the web, using social media or working on documents, 8 gigabytes should be more than sufficient. It's like having a desk with just enough space for your laptop, a notebook, and a cup of coffee. However, for more intensive tasks like video editing, 3D modeling, or gaming, you might find that 8 gigabytes starts to feel a little cramped. It's like trying to spread out blueprints, multiple books, and various tools on that same desk. Things can get a little crowded. But before we rush to the store for an upgrade, it's essential to note that MacBooks are a little different from other computers. They're designed to be incredibly efficient with their resources and that includes memory. So 8 gigabytes on a MacBook might go further than you think. In the end, whether or not 8 gigabytes of memory is enough for your MacBook really depends on your specific needs and usage patterns. Now let's dive into how Apple devices, particularly MacBooks, use memory. Apple has a unique way of managing memory in its devices. This is a statement that rings true when you delve into the intricacies of how the tech giant makes the most out of every byte of memory in its MacBooks. Apple has always been a trendsetter in the tech industry, and its approach to memory management is no exception. The company's proprietary operating system, MacOS, is designed to efficiently manage memory, ensuring smooth performance even with just 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is achieved through a number of sophisticated techniques and technologies. One of these is memory compression. Memory compression is a technique used by MacOS to make the most out of the available memory. When the system starts running low on free memory, it compresses the data that's currently not in use. This compressed data takes up significantly less space, allowing the system to store more information in the same amount of memory. When this data is needed again, MacOS quickly decompresses it. This happens so rapidly that it is almost imperceptible to the user, ensuring a smooth and seamless experience. Another way Apple optimizes memory usage is through the implementation of AppNap, a feature that puts applications that are not currently in use into a low-power state. This means that when you're working on a document in Pages, and have Safari running in the background, Safari will consume less memory and processing power, allowing Pages to run more smoothly. Then there's the concept of swap memory. This is a portion of your Mac storage that's used as a temporary memory when your RAM is full. Macos dynamically manages the swap space, moving data between the RAM and the swap space as needed. This ensures that your Mac continues to run smoothly, even when you have multiple applications open at the same time. Finally, Apple uses graphics memory in a unique way by sharing it between the GPU and the CPU. This shared memory approach allows the system to allocate memory where it's needed most, whether it's for rendering graphics or for running applications. This shared memory approach combined with Apple's other memory management techniques ensures that even a MacBook with 8 gigabytes of memory can deliver a powerful and smooth performance. In conclusion, Apple's unique approach to memory management from memory compression and app nap to swap memory and shared graphics memory allows it to make the most out of every byte of memory. It's not just about the quantity of memory but how efficiently it's used. As we can see, Apple ensures that every byte of memory is put to good use. This is why 8 gigabytes of memory in a MacBook is often more than enough for the average user, and why upgrading to more memory isn't always necessary. It's a testament to Apple's commitment to efficiency and performance. 
So the question arises, is more memory always better? The phrase more is better is a common perception, often applied to many aspects of life, from the amount of chocolate on your Sunday to the horsepower in your car. But when it comes to computer memory, does this axiom still hold true? Well let's dive into that. Firstly let's understand that memory or RAM is essentially your device's short-term data storage. It allows your MacBook to quickly access data it needs right now, or in the immediate future. So, in theory, more memory should allow your device to handle more tasks simultaneously. But there's a catch. Just like with those extra scoops of ice cream on your sundae, more isn't always better. Sure, you get a sugar rush, but too much can lead to a stomachache. Similarly, while more RAM may initially seem beneficial, it can lead to potential downsides. One such downside is increased power consumption. More memory means more power needed to keep that memory active. And for a device like a MacBook, where battery life is a prized feature, this can be a significant drawback. Another potential downside is cost. Memory isn't cheap, and opting for a model with a high memory configuration can significantly bump up the price. Lastly, let's not forget about efficiency. Apple's Macos is designed to be remarkably efficient with its memory usage. So, even with a relatively modest 8GB of RAM, you can still achieve excellent performance for most everyday tasks and even some heavier workloads. So, is more memory always better? The simple answer is no. It's a balance between your specific needs, the efficiency of the operating system, and the physical limitations of the device itself. Clearly, more memory isn't always the answer. So, what should you consider upgrading instead? If not memory, then what should you consider upgrading in your MacBook? Let's shift our focus towards the other key components that can significantly impact your MacBook's performance, storage and processing power. These elements often end up playing a more critical role than memory, especially in day-to-day -day tasks and more demanding applications. First, let's talk about storage. The kind of storage your MacBook has can greatly influence its speed and responsiveness. Traditional hard drives or HDDs are slower and more prone to mechanical failure. Apple, however, has been using solid-state drives or SSDs in their MacBooks for quite some time now. These drives are much faster, more reliable, and they significantly speed up tasks like booting up your system, loading applications, and transferring files. Now you might think, but I store most of my files in the cloud so I don't need much storage space, right? Well, not quite. Even if you use cloud storage, having sufficient local storage is still important. Your MacBook uses part of its storage for something called virtual memory. When your MacBook's RAM is fully occupied, it uses this virtual memory to temporarily store and swap data. If your storage is nearly full, this process slows down, reducing your system's overall performance. So, upgrading your storage can give your MacBook a significant speed boost, especially if you're running heavy applications or multitasking. Next on the list is your MacBook's processor. The processor, or CPU, is essentially the brain of your computer. It handles all your system's operations and calculations. A faster, more powerful processor means your MacBook can process more data, run more applications simultaneously, and perform tasks more quickly. If you're someone who uses your MacBook for basic tasks like browsing the web, checking emails, or streaming videos, the base model processor will likely suffice. But if you're into more demanding tasks like video editing, 3D modeling, or heavy gaming, a processor upgrade can make a world of difference. Here's a tip. When considering a processor upgrade, look at both the number of cores and the clock speed. More cores mean the processor can handle more tasks at once, and a higher clock speed means it can process each task faster. So where does this leave us? Well, while more memory can provide some performance benefits, upgrading your storage or processor often makes a more noticeable difference. It's about striking the right balance between all three components, considering what you use your MacBook for, and making upgrades that will best enhance your user experience. Remember, each MacBook model has different upgrade options, and once you choose, these components are typically not user upgradable. So take your time, do your research, and make an informed decision. So, upgrading your storage or processor could provide a bigger performance boost than simply adding more memory. Let's recap what we've explored today. We've delved into the intricate world of memory management, specifically focusing on the Apple MacBook and its use of 8 gigabytes of memory. We've learned that the amount of memory in your MacBook, while important, isn't the be-all and end-all. It's not just about the quantity of memory, it's about the quality of its usage. 
Apple, with its innovative memory management, ensures that even with 8GB of memory, your MacBook can perform efficiently and smoothly. The macOS operating system, which is designed to work harmoniously with the hardware, employs a method known as memory compression. This tactic allows the system to shrink the size of inactive data in your memory, creating more space for other applications and tasks. This optimized and effective approach means that 8GB of memory can go a long way in an Apple MacBook. We've also debunked the myth that more memory is always better. While it's true that having more memory can improve performance in certain situations, it's not a universal truth. In many scenarios, 8 gigabytes of memory is more than sufficient. Upgrading to 16 or 32 gigabytes of memory might sound appealing, but it won't necessarily translate to noticeable improvements in your everyday computing tasks. Instead, We've highlighted that other upgrades like storage or processor may provide a more tangible impact on your MacBook's performance. For instance, opting for a solid-state drive or SSD over a traditional hard drive can significantly speed up your system. Similarly, a more powerful processor can enhance your MacBook's ability to handle intensive tasks, like video editing or gaming. So there you have it, a deep dive into the world of Apple memory management. Remember, it's not just about the amount of memory, it's about how you use it. It's about leveraging what you have to its fullest potential and optimizing your system for your specific needs. Because at the end of the day, it's your user experience that matters the most. Now it's time to answer some of your burning questions. We've seen a lot of inquiries about different MacBook models and their memory capacities. Let's kick things off with the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air comes standard with 8 gigabytes of memory, but is it enough? In most cases, yes. For everyday tasks such as browsing the web, sending emails, and using standard applications like Word or Excel, 8GB will serve you well. Even for light photo editing or occasional video editing, you'll find that 8GB is sufficient. Next up, we've got a question that crops up quite often. How can I check my memory usage? In Macos, you can check your memory usage via the Activity Monitor. It's a utility that provides a live view of how your system resources are being utilized. You can find it in the Utilities folder within the Applications folder. Once you've got it open, click on the Memory tab to see a detailed breakdown of your memory usage. Another common question we encounter is, when might it be necessary to upgrade my memory? Well, if you're a professional who works with heavy-duty applications like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, or high-end games, you might benefit from more memory. However, for the majority of users, 8 gigabytes is more than enough. And remember, memory isn't the only factor that affects your system's performance, the processor and the storage type also play crucial roles. Speaking of storage, a question we often see is, would it be better to upgrade my storage instead of memory? Typically yes, if you're frequently running out of space on your MacBook, upgrading your storage capacity would be a more beneficial move. A larger SSD not only provides more room for your files and applications, but also allows your system to run more efficiently. In contrast, upgrading memory won't provide any significant benefits unless you're using memory-intensive applications. And lastly, we have a question about the MacBook Pro. Does the MacBook Pro need more than 8 gigabytes of memory? The MacBook Pro is a powerful machine designed for professionals. Therefore, it could certainly benefit from more memory, especially if you're involved in graphic design, video editing, 3D modeling, or other intensive tasks. However, as we've mentioned before, for general usage, 8 gigabytes is quite sufficient. To wrap things up, let's reiterate that 8 gigabytes of memory is plenty for the majority of MacBook users. If you're a professional who uses intensive applications, more memory could be beneficial. But for most of us, a memory upgrade won't provide the significant performance boost we might expect. Instead, consider upgrading your storage if you're frequently running out of space. And that's all we have time for today. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights.